Hey my friends, come on in. Today I've got a really fun vlog for you. So here in Abilene, the storybook capital of America, we have a wonderful celebration that happens uh, beginning of June where we invite an author illustrator to our town to celebrate their art and books and it's just the most fun ever. So this year um, we brought Peter Brown to Abilene. I say we like I had any part to do in it. I didn't. Um, but it's the best. I love it. So last year we had um, Oliver Jeffers and he's one of my favorites and I was like four days postpartum when the the festival happened so we did not get to go um, but I have volunteered in years prior when I didn't have a baby to take to the festival I just um, volunteered my time to uh, be a part of it so we vlogged it was a lot of fun um, I was losing my voice and then have had my voice gone for like the past like ever since we took the vlog so I've been waiting for my voice to come back so I could kind of like fill in the the vlog footage for you because my voice was pretty much gone I didn't do a whole lot of like like vlog vlogging like of me talking and telling you about everything that's going on so I'm gonna do that future me you know like future Beth and then we're gonna watch past tense Beth and Captain and Jude enjoying the CAF festival weekend um CAF is children's art and literacy festival really you're saying children's art and literacy festival festival when you say calf festival but whatever anyway let's get rolling so thursday night is the storybook parade so cute so much fun um jude really enjoyed watching all of the uh parade floats go by all um all the drivers. he was last year peter brown like rides in the parade like it's just the cutest thing ever and then it's the night is ended with like a um, the sculpture unveiling we have a storybook garden with sculptures anyway really cute roll the footage to giving great care of the citizens of Abel. what is that what did you say he's thinking is this biodegradable <laughs> What you said, but <laughs> is this biodegradable? No, it isn't. You need to cool off, boy. Look at these. It's gonna be fun tomorrow when they got it all turned on. So after we saw the parade and uh, went down to the uh, unveiling, we, which I didn't film any of. Whoops. Um, we went back down to the historic Paramount Theater where we got to hear um, Peter Brown give an artist talk about his life work and that was amazing and just gives a lot of insight into his art and his styles, his styles, his stylistic choices and just the kind of thought behind his work which is so much fun to hear. The artist talk concluded day one for us and day two um, Captain had asked off of work so that we could all attend the festival together but he is the manager of his shop so when other people don't show up he's got to go in so we didn't I didn't actually film anything on Friday which uh, because it was just me and Jude we had a really great day um, we had a lot of fun and Captain did get to join us for a long lunch break so that was fun but um, trying to film and like have one hand like with baby it just wasn't happening but Captain um, would either film or I would film all day Saturday so we enjoyed all day together of the festival on Saturday and have lots of cute clips to show. We started the day with a Peter Brown book signing. Um, we picked out two books for Jude, one of which is like his favorite ever called Mr. Tiger Goes Wild and he like points at it on the shelf and like flaps his arms getting all excited when it's like time to read it. He loves it so much. So thank you Calf for uh, showing my one-year-old his very first favorite book. So cute. Um, so yeah, we enjoyed the signing and getting to meet Peter Brown. He's like, I don't know about this guy. I don't know. I don't like to Oh, all right, there we there go. There we go. <laughs> and then when we headed over to Frontier, Texas to hang out at the petting zoo, when we walked in, there was a um, full, what is it called? Like, 
character of Chowder, one, a, a bulldog, one of Peter Brown's characters, and Jude loved him. The second we walked in the door, he was like, puppy, puppy, puppy. He wasn't saying puppy, but like, I could feel his puppy energy. He was like, I see that puppy. It's good. So cute. Oh, sorry. No, you're not in it. You're good. <laughs> he loved the petting zoo so much. Like, he is such an animal lover. And what's really awesome about the cat festival is they include activities for every age range, which meant they had toddler activities, they had younger kid activities, they had like big kid activities. It was amazing. So there was something for him to like touch, um, which is very big for his age right now. He wants to be a part of it and he wants to touch it. And he wants to see. So the fact that they included activities at every reading spot was so nice. We also got to ride the train, which was really fun. And Captain did a little bit of vlogging. Let's roll that footage. Just did the corn pop show. It was not really weird. Um, some old guy made balloons and made some children feel very awk. Um, uh -huh. Jude like didn't like it. She did like she it. He kind of liked it. He did. He's tired. Uh -huh. I'm tired. Mommy's tired. We're, we're all tired. cranky. So now we're gonna go sit through some more stuff <laughs> and be more cranky. Um, so yeah, don't forget to click subscribe and ding the little bell thing, whatever oh, the heck that does. Notifications. Yeah. Are you even filming yourself? Notifications. Probably? Yeah, I better be. Yeah, I am. Because I'm a serious vlogger. Oh I put the V, capital V, in vlog. Wow. Okay, bye fam. Oh my god. All in all, it was such an amazing weekend. I cannot wait for all of the uh, cat festivals to come. Um, and I hope you enjoyed our little footage. It'll probably be more fun for those of you who attended CAF or maybe live in Abilene and are thinking about taking your kids next year. You should go. Um, the cost 
is nothing in comparison to the value that you get for this festival and i love it so much not sponsored like i just i love abilene i love our storybook capital of america and i just want everyone else to partake in the fun too so anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, have a super great day and i'll catch you next time